<sighs> whoa, whoa. Better like take it slow. There you go. That is deep. This is no space to open the doors. It's just too small for doing anything. All right, it's Sunday. It's my last day in work. Um, we got loads to do, so we better get going. We all the stuff we gotta go. Let's do it. All right, first thing first. Tires. Tires. Turn my light on as well to check all the lights. Like you have seen me doing this like 100 million times, but I can't stress enough how important it is to do all your trailer checks, all your unit checks, all your light checks. Like that is the main thing that you gotta do. Like all your light, everything, everything. Other than that guys, if you like the channel, like, subscribe and all that stuff. And let's get going. It's time just to get, get on the road, get back to Hunter Park, find out what we actually doing um just get get stuff done today's the last day so i don't think we're gonna be going too far right, we have arrived to our destinations now as you can see you can see loads of units and stuff all right quick update we're gonna grab a trailer we're gonna drive around the corner Gonna go and grab a trailer, drop the one we got already, obviously, as you can tell. Gonna go and grab one of them, and we're gonna get an hour away, so let's drop this, so let's do that. Put it close to this one, but not too close, obviously. Right. Yeah, that's close, though. Just make it in a little bit of an angle. Don't wanna put it too close, otherwise, won't be able to get it out. That should be all right. That's a space enough in between then. Uh, oh, well, we're here now. One plate. Pin. Now, the thing is that we need to find an empty trailer. Um, it's all of them there, so I'm just going to have a lock in the back sometimes the lads drop the empty ones here or the lower ones all right let's check the first one nope yep. it's got stuff in it yeah. right, let's check this one hopefully this one is empty yeah it's empty we yeah we got two bars we got the four of them and we got straps as well so that means that we are right to go and get any for this uh, just a quick check around just make sure everything is all right all right we just got out of that trailer gonna get underneath for the other one let's just get into that and get out of here that is how you want to do it and race and do the rest of it so let's do that all right i've done all my checks now check the lights indicators check absolutely everything so it's just a matter of getting to this place and collecting what we have to collect so time to get stuff done okay Mm, I'm gonna get out of this way because the road is a little bit more smooth around this end and um, we're gonna be doing one of them in a minute so just collect this get there come back one of them should be ready for us to get going and then we're gonna go to a farm <laughs> which is gonna be pretty exciting this All right, we're nearly at this place. Like, in this little villa that you go past, the, the, it's really tight turns and you gotta be really careful, but at least you can see before you start turning on most of them. Not every single one of them, but most of them. But this is a really, like, difficult place to navigate when you're in a truck. If you're in a car, you're absolutely fine. You sound as a pound. All right, we're coming to our turn now, which is, actually that way it's a really narrow road and the worst thing about it is that you gotta bend there and you gotta be really careful while you're getting in so like approaching looking further forward nothing coming behind us nobody trying to overtake us <sighs> all right okay we're good there yeah it's just a really narrow road like 
anything, any mistake, you wouldn't dip in that ditch there. And trust me, you won't get out of it because it's like deep in. Whoa. No, whoa, whoa. Better like take it slow. There you go. That is when you know it's narrow. When your mirror just goes in. Just fix that mirror because we're going to need it. Yeah. Let me see, pal, along. That is deep. And the worst thing about it is because it keeps singing both sides and then it's like a little mountain in the middle like your wheels go like in a hole like you feel like you're gonna tip over kind of thing you won't obviously but you feel like whoa whoa it's not that bad as it looks okay let me see how we do this other way in push all the way out and then reverse into that so I'm just gonna line up myself before I open my doors. But I know that I need to open my doors before I go in because there's no space to open the doors. Get online, get online. That should be like just go straight in. Alright, I'm happy with that. Right, just get down there. You gotta be careful going down as well. But at least it's not another truck on that side because it makes it a little bit more difficult. But that is tons up. Let's do it. I need to be pretty much over the line there or really close to the line. We're on line there. So I'm happy with that. You gotta go slow as well. But because it's like a down slope, like a downhill kind of stuff, you don't know how far you go. Yeah, we are. We're in position now. How easy was that? To be honest, this place seems pretty empty to me, but don't even speak to somebody. Um, yeah, like I said before, we're online there. And when I get back then, it just the lights up because it's still on. Yeah, more than happy with that. That's a pair for parking, I would say. All right, some amazing guy is gonna tip us right now. I'm gonna get out of here and we're gonna do some book. I can't wait to get my hands on this book as well because it's like my favorite thing to do. All right, the trailer's just been done so all i need to do now is just hang up this stuff and then you secure my trailer and if you didn't know the trailers do have lighting as well so bang this tube here Boop. Boop. next one yeah. and by having this two there that's secure and we're ready to go straps I'm gonna wrap it up now, so it's gonna take me about two minutes to do this. Oh, you either wrap it or put it like that there. That's a cure. All right, free shum. I'll show you how I did this before. It's just, it's an engine, no in standby, which means be working with electricity. We know that it's got fuel because we checked it before. That's the tank over there. So just wait for this to come on. It's resetting now, so it's about to start. So let's do it. The beep is to let you know it's gonna kick off. There we go, we got a trailer going off. So it's plus two, so I just press that to put it to four. Equal sign, it's put it into four now, it's not gonna move from there, it's gonna keep it on four. So, close this and get moving. As we know, it's a bit tight to get this in and out, but it's on a straight road anyway, so. Yeah. I'm gonna close my doors and that means that we're ready to go. Get back on my truck and then we meet and we can do what we gotta do and then just keep going on business. So do that. Alright, for this one it's gonna take a while from here anyway. So the trailer gets on the road straight away. So as close as I can to that cave. So the trailer swings and it's far away from that cave on that side. It's a lot of space there, but sometimes the trailer do cut in. You gotta be really careful with stuff like that. Whoa. Even, even when you're doing 15 miles an hour around here, like in road like this, it's just, it's just too small for doing anything. Okay. Ta -da. All right, slowly get it in. It's just, it's just like if you if you fall into that ditch, like I said before, that's it. Like recovery vehicle in straight away, and you'd probably be on your side as well. So I'd rather take my time, be as careful as I can. The job is about being careful. That 
branch there, I hate it. That's the one that closed the, the mirror before. Just takes your time, just plot along. It's not, it's not, it's not a big deal anyway. It's just tiny roads. So I'm gonna take it wide around here because I don't have that much road to do the swing around. But okay, the trail is cutting just fine there, and I'm I'm not getting any mud there. So look at that, just by the cave. Just by the cave, the trailer, with all that space that I took, the back end of the trailer as well, the tires, we just around the cave. Like, you, 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 gotta, you, gotta, you gotta know that when you come in like in places. Take as much space as you can. The road is all yours, man. And always when you get cars like that in places like this, just make sure you indicate. All right, that gentleman stopped there for us. It's always a Tesco driver. I got these two vehicles there, Tesco driver in the middle, and then I got a massive bend there. Anybody can come around there, like, look at this guy. Look, at least he was going slow. Imagine somebody just take fast around that bend, like, let's say it was it, like John Ladd, because they're always, like, driving fast as well. Back in the yard, the shunter. One crop is in a bay, or do you want me to drop it off? I don't know, wait, I'll do tip it. I tried to ask somebody there, but. That's no, 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 alright, drop it off there, alright, it's okay, thank you. Alright, I'm trying to find out where am I gonna put this trailer, if they want to in a bay or not, just trying to be nice, but nobody like seems to know what's going on. The right guy that I'm meant to be talking to, I can't find it. So, I came over here, all them trailers. That's a bay there, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got pallets in the middle, so I cannot put it there because it's probably broken. So I'm gonna have to put it somewhere there, connect to the electrics and leave it to somebody to find it and all that. But I will report it down to the office now and then get over to the other side. The mission is just pack it next to that one and connect it to the electrics like this. So basically you switch that, you switch that up, the one in the middle where it says standby and then you plug it in and then go send to electrics. So pack up and do that and we should be all right so well it's just a little bit difficult to park in here because you got so many potholes in the ground it, 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 you can take as much space as you want okay you want you want it close but don't want it too close all right that should do them that should be whoop. so basically the trailer works in two ways when the fridge is on you can run it by power of the fridge basically by diesel or you can use the electrics which is the two different methods to get it done so i show you how I, how it's done now all right it's just this put them on standby get that off and then all you gotta do is just plug it in like so clip it at the top with this so it's secure and the trailer will come on and instead of be running by the engine it's gonna be run by electric you just done the click there it does says like state okay and it tells you like all right how long is gonna gonna take to come back on and stuff like that so all i gotta do now is just wait until it comes on to make sure it's running and that's what it sounds like when the electric is running it doesn't sound like the engine so you know that it's running so you're good to go and get going to where you gotta go so they're gonna beg your pardon now because I got to do stuff and I won't be able to record but I'll be back so do that now.